Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry if it's been, well, if it's super loud in the background, the kids are awake, they're crazy. Um, we just got back from Florida. We visited my in-laws for a week. And let me tell you, that was the first time and possibly the last time that I will ever get all four of my children into a car and drive 20 plus hours one way from New Hampshire to Florida, Florida to New Hampshire. <clears throat> we left on a Friday around six o'clock, got to Florida. We drove all the way through, um, got to Florida on Saturday around three-ish. And then when we left the following Friday from Florida to New Hampshire, we left Florida around 7.30, got home about four, um, four, 4.30. It was a great time. I loved every second of visiting my in-laws, but let me just tell you, <laughs> you need some steel patience, if that's even a thing to bring all of your kids or bring children on a ride of that extent. And I have like a nice, comfortable, luxurious car. I have a Cadillac Escalade and it has a DVD player. It's got ample seating for everybody. And it was still, the drive home was just a shit show. But anyways, I apologize for my absence. I know I've been gone. Um, I didn't do the best. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't do the best while I was in Florida. Um, I did gain about two pounds. So at one point I was down to about 132 before I left and I was 135.6 by the time I got home. So it is what it is. We're back on track and we had a great time. So without further ado, I wanted to show you guys, I just placed an order at Walmart for my groceries. I just picked everything up. Hi guys, um, hi guys. It was about $150 and let's get right into it. working with and I really need to get specifically those popsicles into the freezer but anyways this is what $150 at Walmart looks like and without further ado we're gonna get right into this so per usual I apologize for the background noise one of the twins is listening to oh, playing his tablet on full blast right there so just ignore that um, <clears throat> But I tried to separate these in, semi-separate these into like, I guess produce and I think that's the only thing that's relatively organized and then maybe like canned goods over there. Um, so these are all the zero point things. I got some green grapes, I got some bananas. We have three limes. Um, I do plan on making chili and I know you need a lime for that. And then my husband just likes lime in, some, in his drinks sometimes. So we did get that. I'm gonna make some roasted broccoli, so I did get the broccoli or florets, and I like to have that on hand just to dip in dressing, things like that. Um, I got two packs of raspberries because the boys love them. <clears throat> um, got a giant thing of strawberries because the boys and I love these. Um, unsweetened applesauce. Um, I more or less get this for the kids, but this is zero smart points if you wanted to have one as well. Okay. <laughs> Um, zero smart points. I got this for an Emily Bites recipe. I'm gonna be making the chili, I think it's chili cheese dog Make me bubble a up. Banana. Make you a banana? I want a banana. <laughs> Can I get through my grocery haul, please, guys? All right, I'm gonna try and do this unedited, so let's go. Um, you need seven and a half ounces of just buttermilk biscuit. So this was the one that I used. It's just the Walmart brand great value. So I got one of those and then I have an extra one just to keep on hand because I'm gonna make, I love the Emily Bites bubble up casseroles. Um, this is just as a treat, a diet, just diet Snapple for me. My husband usually has some too. Um, then we have like the chippy, chippy things. Um, these are absolutely delicious. Um, they're toasted chips. This is the sour cream and onion flavor. You can have four, sorry, you can have 12 chips for four smart points. Um, and these are pretty big, so I think that that, if I'm really craving chips, I think that that is something that I would spend four points on. Then here, these are absolutely delicious too. I like how puffy and soft these are. Um, so these are white cheddar. You can have five, um, 36 puffs for five smart points. I think that that's actually a pretty good deal as well because these are also, like, I'd say that that's, it's bigger than what they actually are, but these are quite big as well. So 
five smart points for 36 of those. Then we have, I've shown these before. These are for my husband, but I just put the points in case anyone was interested. So these are the Ruffle All Dress Chips. These are quite good. Um, five, you can have 12 chips for five smart points. I don't think that's worth it in my opinion, but if you really like chips and this flavor intrigues you, it's like a barbecue meets salt and vinegar, sort of, meets ketchup, um, but they're really good. Um, then here, these are for the kids, more or less for Liam's lunches for kindergarten, um, but you can, if you wanted one, these are freeze-dried apple crisps. It's two smart points per pack, and these are pretty small, so not worth it in my opinion, but if you're in a pinch, or you're on the road, or you're busy and you need something to just take with you for lunch or something, also an option, but I prefer to just have fresh fruit for zero. Um, then the Teddy Grahams, the honey flavor. We tried cinnamon last time and the kids did not like cinnamon, surprisingly. So we did finish that box and now we're on to, well, I should say, most of my kids didn't like them. A couple of them did and then my husband, my mom, and my dad and I ate the other cinnamon Teddy Grahams. So now we have the honey. You can have 27 graham crackers for, or Teddy Grahams for five smart points. Um, also, I would have to really be in the mood to probably spend that on Teddy Grahams because they're not really filling, but maybe as like crushed in some yogurt or something like that, you could definitely do that and maybe not use 27, but you could lower the points and still get your Teddy Graham fixed if you want like a graham cracker, almost like a cheesecake. What I was thinking is taking that, taking much less than 27, maybe like five, or so, which would be significantly less points, probably like one smart point, crushing them up and then putting them into like a cheesecake yogurt or um, just putting like vanilla yogurt with those and strawberries, something like that. Um, these are for the kids, but I did calculate the points. These are Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its. This flavor is really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely the one that my kids prefer. Um, it's more like a glare, it's light above. Um, but these are, you can have four, sorry, 25 crackers for four smart points. Um, this is for a recipe and I actually was supposed to, I couldn't find shredded so I just brought the block, I bought the block cheese because that's where I could find that was 50% less fat. Um, but I'm using this for an Emily Bites bubble up casserole again. Um, I use this for my wraplets which I just sprinkle onto the wrap and then I put my egg and it's just really good and filling and it's a good flavor boost. Um, I also put them on cucumbers. Actually, that's really funny. I never even realized that they do that on that, it looks like I copied that recipe. Um, then I got the Alfresco chicken bacon. Um, one of my subscribers, I'm so sorry, I can't think of your name at this moment, um, but she had asked where I find these in Walmart and I had my husband go in one day and he said that, that there is just like a refrigerator section that is labeled like bacon. Um, so unfortunately, if it's not super obvious in your Walmart in like the refrigerator section, that makes me question if they do have it because that's where I found I found ours um, and I'm so sorry if they don't but I that's where I found it everywhere it's just in like the refrigerated section with other bacons um, is where I did find that so I hope that helps <laughs> um, then here somebody I saw this um, what did I see this I saw, saw this on Instagram it's the no sugar added fudge pops you can have one pop per um, you can have one pop for one smart point, two pops for two smart points, three, etc. Um, so I figured this would be a nice little treat I'm gonna have like at night if I'm craving something sweet. Um, then I have, these are for the kids actually, it's the, just Honey Nut Cheerios and Apple Jacks. I don't eat cereal because to me, it doesn't really fill me up and I feel like it's a waste of points, just in my opinion. Um, I really just like to get the most bang for my buck with the points and I know that's what the, the program is designed for, is to really make sure that the foods that you're eating are high in protein and they'll keep you full longer and they're just more healthy foods for you in general. I'm not saying that a bowl of cereal every now and then isn't okay to do, it's absolutely fine. And if you're a person that enjoys cereal, that is 100% up to you. And that's the beauty of the program is that you kind of work it the way that you wanna work it. But for me, I'd much rather eat eggs. I do get burnt out on eggs, so then I usually switch to like a smoothie or something more nutrient dense, um, but yeah. Just a little side note right there. Um, this, these are for Liam, but I occasionally will get a craving for a bagel. Um, these are the bagel thins. This flavor is the honey, it's just whole wheat. Um, he also likes the, the blue package, which is the everything bagel, and the red package, which is just the plain. But they didn't have plain, so we're going with whole wheat, which is fine with me. 
three smart points per bagel fin. And this is the size that they are. So they are pretty thin, but that is okay because it still gets the craving away for me. Um, then just to tide me over until I can go to BJ's and get a, a lot of eggs, I just got a Nelly's free range eggs. There's, I believe there's just a dozen. Yep, 12. Um, my husband likes these eggs. These are really good eggs. Um, so I got that. Then I always use this in my omelet. So I have Kraft fat-free cheddar cheese for zero. Zero, well, I should say zero smart points for a quarter of a cup. Um, then I have the Oikos triple zero vanilla yogurt. Good job. In, in a second, okay? okay. Um, then I have the Oikos Triple Zero Greek yogurts vanilla flavor. The boys love these, and I will occasionally want one, um, again, with like crushed up Teddy Grahams and whipped cream and strawberries, kind of jazz it up and make it into a nice little dessert. Um, but these are three smart points per container. And again, this is the vanilla. Um, I've heard people say that when you're making the two ingredient dough, like a thicker Greek yogurt, is better to use like Chobani or Faye. So I got this, the Faye, um, and I wanted the big container, but they didn't have it, so they just substituted two of the smaller ones, which is fine with me, because I still paid the same price. Um, so that's just plain non-fat Greek yogurt for two ingredient dough and whatever else I want to use it for. This is Sara Lee Honey Wheat Bread. It's two smart points for one slice. I don't usually use this for myself. I use this for the boys. Um, and Logan is obsessed with peanut butter and jelly, so this is more for him. Liam likes toast, things like that. Um, then this is for my Emily Bites Bubble Up Casserole, or I'm sorry, Emily Bites, I think it's corned, I, I still forget the name of it, but it's like a chili cheese dog casserole. Um, they just need to 15 ounces, I'm sorry, eight ounces of tomato sauce, so I got that. Then I just got some SpaghettiOs. For the mini cans, it is five smart points per can. Um, I don't usually eat these, but if I did, occasionally I'll be making Liam some, and I'm like, mm, I could go for some spaghetti. So it's five smart points for the mini can. Then here um, I have Kodiak cakes. They're basically protein pancakes. This is just the buttermilk. It's five smart points per half a cup, but you can do so many things with this. They also have chocolate. I know a lot of people use the chocolate to make like muffins and stuff like that. So you're gonna be a jerk, but throw in a please at the end? I wanna be nice. Okay, can you hold on one second? I'm almost done. Then I have just, I needed to stock up on some uh, canned corn. So I just got six whole kernel canned corns. Um, then I have some cut green beans because I also needed to restock on that. So there's four of those in the back. Um, then I saw, I forget her name. I think it's WW Jen <laughs> or Jen's WW Journey. Um, she had these in a recent grocery haul, the, the sugar-free lifesavers. So you can have one for zero smart points, four for one, smart, up to four for one smart point. So I got the wintergreen and the peppermint because every once in a while, I definitely have coffee breath. And although I'm a stay-at-home mom now, so I'm not around people as much, um, it's just good to have these and just to have, kind of get that craving away for either like something sweet or just to make your breath fresh. Um, then I have some... The, this sugar-free jello cheesecake mix. Um, I am gonna make some more cheesecake tonight, like, most likely. Um, I've been obsessed with white pizzas lately, so I've been using this, and it's the Classico Light Creamy Alfredo. You can have a quarter of a cup for two smart points or a half a cup for four smart points. And I'm obsessed with that white pizza. <clears throat> you can also use that on, I don't know if you can see it over there, but there's boxes right there. Um, I got some pasta, carbonata, I always forget exactly how to say it, but I got some palmini pasta and some, it's made with hearts of palm and some brain fart, um, carbonata, pasta carbonata to put, make like an Alfredo, a lightened up version of Alfredo. Um, then these are just kind of random things, but I needed this to make the cheesecake, so I got more Truvia. Um, this is for the recipe. I needed some cayenne pepper, and I figured other recipes that I will make in the future are gonna need that. I needed a refill of my onion powder. This is for just my stir fries that I like to make. I like this Kikkoman stir fry sauce. It is very high in sodium though, so beware if you are somebody that needs to watch your sodium. And I also wouldn't recommend having this the night before weigh-in because it will cause you to retain fluid. Just sort of the rule of thumb with anything that's high in sodium. Don't eat that before your weigh-in. Um, and then just pickles. Also probably not something you'd want to eat before weigh-in, but my kids love them and I enjoy a pickle every once in a while. <laughs> So that is it. My kids are having a meltdown, um, but that 
is what I got, and the sun is like awkwardly shining through. We have a fixed window, woohoo! And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. So I know this isn't usually part of a grocery haul, but I figured I would share, and I'm sorry. Actually, let me try and switch on my above lights. Maybe that's better. Hopefully. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I did. So I've been having a really hard time lately if I buy a big box of like chips or Cheez-Its, something like that. Um, my portion control, I'm, I'm just not good with it. And if I'm really hungry, I will definitely just grab a box and mindlessly pick and I know I always go over. So what I did, um, I took my food scale and I measured these out. I more than likely will not have any of these. These, I was impressed with the amount that you get for five smart points. Like, I think that that's worth it. Um, those were the Cheeto white cheddar puffs. Um, these are the Ritz for smart points. That's actually, I don't know, not impressed with that. And then these are Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its. And I know Cheez-Its are always bad for you, but these are four smart points. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you. So I measured these out according to their weight on a food scale. And I just put the points on a bag. Um, and I think this is good for my kids too. And it saves money because instead of buying the pre-packaged stuff, you get more for less. Really? I'm looking at all of these bags. So yeah, again, this is Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its, Sour Cream Ritz Crackers, um, Cheetos, White Cheddar Puffs, and, and teddy some grams. Teddy Grahams, some Honey Teddy Grahams. Honey. Um, so these are five points per serving, these are five points per serving, four points per serving, and four points per serving. But I just wanted to show you that I was dedicated and I did, look at them, they're swarming. Okay. They're like little animals. Um, I did portion these out and this should help me significantly get back on track after vacation because these are my weakness. All right guys, so just one last follow up. My husband just went, he's a sweetheart. Um, so I couldn't find 99% fat free turkey breast at my Walmart. Um, they have like 97, but I just really want the zero smart point one. So um, my husband was sweet and he went out and he actually had to go to Hannaford and Market Basket because I was dying for these. He could not find any at um, the Market Basket, so he went to a Hannaford. And it's funny because the Hannaford that we have in the area that I live in has like almost nothing, but amazingly they carry these. So I was super surprised to find these one day, and I, they were in the Mexican aisle instead of with all the other wraps. Um, but these are one smart point per wrap, and honestly, these are the best wraps that I've ever had. They don't really taste... Um, I don't know, they don't taste, they don't have that weird like uh, powdery substance all over it. These actually feel like wraps, like non-diet wraps. So I love these so much. One smart point, Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Wraps. Are those hot dogs? Yes, they are. Um, then these are the ones that the Emily Bites recipe, ooh, these are the hot dogs that the Emily Bites recipe called for. I ordered them through Walmart and they didn't have them so they tried to substitute them and from I actually calculated the points on the ones that they substituted. And instead of one smart point per franc, there were five smart points per franc. So I was like, yeah, no. Um, so they gave, they took that back and then hubby went to Market Basket and got these. They're 97% fat-free beef franks. Um, they're more thin than typical hot dogs, but these are what the recipe calls for and they need four, you need four of these hot dogs. And they come in a pack of what, six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so you need all but two. Then here, again, I have the 99% fat-free ground turkey breast. This is also for the Emily Bites recipe. Um, and then I want to make chili, so this is for that. Isn't he handsome? He got a haircut. It looks so good. And he also is sweet and got me these beautiful flowers just because he's a sweetheart. So yeah, um, that was it. And then, oh yeah, he got two gallons of whole milk because we need a cow. I think we'll hold the milk. <laughs> no, my chicken. 
Um, and then I had requested fat-free Ready Whip, but we can't find it anywhere. I'm kind of hugely bummed out about that. Um, so he got this, but I really wish I had told him not to because we also have a whole other thing of Ready Whip here. And then this I had had before all of them. This is just the Walmart great value whip topping. And this is higher in points than the regular Ready Whip. So I was bummed about that. So I told the family they need to man up and make sure that that goes away. But anyways, that is it. I think that this... What do you say? Okay. Anyways, guys, that is it. I just wanted to show you the few other items that I had planned on getting and wasn't able to. But before my kid has a stroke because I haven't given him apple juice. Ugh. <laughs> Again, give this video a thumbs up if you like grocery hauls. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you can tolerate these little boogers in my videos. And I'll talk to you soon.